pretty day. Really pretty. Good day to be out of the house, enjoying the outdoorsiness of the outdoors. And I had to get out of the house because I was keeping my flatmate awake. She works nights and she was sleeping during the day and I thought I was being quiet, but I wasn't. I was actually singing. Oh, it's oh, got me a bit worried that I started to sing without even realizing I'm doing it. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I left the house to give us some peace. I hadn't lived in an apartment before I moved to Canada and now I've lived in like three different apartment buildings. Um, and there is something that I was expecting to encounter living in an apartment that hasn't occurred. Because in the movies, on TV and stuff, when people are in an apartment, they always complain about their upstairs neighbours and, you know, the lady with the wooden leg who lives upstairs, it's like that running joke. And, uh, people bang on the ceiling with the end of a broom and stuff. I've never had to do that. No, I haven't. Um, and that surprises me. I don't hear the people upstairs. I sometimes hear the people next door but never upstairs. So, hmm, there you go. But one thing I have found living in an apartment is that, you know, we're close to other apartment buildings and you look out the window and you see into another apartment. So that happens. And across the road from us, on the same level as we are, um, we look out onto someone else's balcony and perched on their balcony is usually a seagull. Hmm. I don't know the seagull's name, but I'm pretty sure it's always the same one. It's like their pet seagull. I mean, really, who has a pet seagull? But they've decided to feed the seagull and it, it just seems to stand there all day waiting to be fed. Yeah, today though, <laughs> it faced some competition. I noticed uh, another seagull had you know, seen what was going on, it's like, that seagull's being fed, I want to be fed, I went in on this action, and so it was like hanging out at the balcony next door, uh, trying to figure out if it was safe to like swoop in and get some food for itself, and so it just gradually inched closer and closer until the lady feeding the seagull sort of leaned down and gave it some food too, and so, ooh, we might have seagull rivalry on our hands. There might be a seagull war outside my window as we speak and I'm not there to watch it. Mm, yeah. I think the first seagull is going to get jealous of, you know, the new seagull getting all the attention. These things happen. Um, but, I don't know how seagulls fight each other when they get angry at each other, so, yeah, I guess watch this space, we'll find out.